UFC 218, Max Bless Holloway meets Jose Aldo to determine who walks away with the featherweight title. Max Holloway is the current UFC featherweight champion of the world. And he won his title recently against Jose Aldo at UFC 212 back in June where he knocked him out in the third round. He landed devastating shots, hit Jose Aldo, knocked him down, followed him down with a mount, and was able to end the fight. Max Holloway is on an amazing 11 fight winning streak and he's able to go out there and use his speed and find openings and really is a savvy striker. In the first fight at UFC 212, we saw mostly a stand-up fight and we saw Max Holloway dominate the first three rounds. And if Jose Aldo would have got through the third round, it definitely would have been a 10-8 round, maybe even a 10-7 round. Max Holloway dominated Jose Aldo, and he was able to win the fight pretty easily. It was a one-sided affair. Max Holloway proved that he's a dominant champion. He went through 10 opponents in order to get the title. He was one of the most tested champions of all time. And at UFC 218, we're going to see if Max Holloway can defend his title against Jose Aldo, who is considered the greatest featherweight of all time. Jose Aldo went on an amazing 18-fight winning streak, and it's the greatest winning streak in featherweight history. He had so many wins. He was a WEC champion of the world, and he was the final WEC champion before transitioning into the Ultimate Fighting Championship, where he defended his title multiple times and really left a legend in the UFC. Right now, he's ranked at number one, and Frankie Edgar was supposed to get this fight. He had to pull out of this fight, and we're getting to see a, a rematch, a real classic. I want to ask you guys, the fans, how you feel about this fight between Jose Aldo, the, the great featherweight, and Max Bless Holloway, the new incumbent. Now, Max has a higher ratio of strikes in his fights. He has a two-to-one power shot striking advantage over Jose Aldo, so he's got a higher output. And that's really what got him to win the first fight. He was able to tee off and hit Jose Aldo at will. Once he really found his range, the fight just came to him. And I want to know your opinion on the fight, but if I had to say something, I would say that since Max Holloway dominated this legend in, in the first fight, he should be able to do it again. And I, I know it doesn't always work out that way, but Max Holloway is a, is a young guy. And he's gonna have the height advantage in this fight again, and, and, and the reach advantage. And if he has the speed advantage, he, he should be able to do what he wants in this fight. Now, the only way I can see Max Holloway losing this fight is if it goes to his head. He's 25 years old now, and he just needs to keep cool, do what he does, and continue winning, and really go out there and fight the same fight. Remember what he did against Jose Aldo that worked, and remember what didn't work, and make it even a better fight. Now, could Jose Aldo go out there and keep his legend going, defeat Max Holloway? Of course he can. That's what's great about this sport, but I'm going to go with Max Bless Holloway. I think he's a phenom at this point. His winning streak is, is phenomenal, and I think he's going to continue. Peace out, guys. Love you all, and I'd love to hear what you have to say about this fight.